Coach mentioned um, your parents being a big influence in, in your maturity and where you are. Can you just kind of take us through that a little bit and, and what kind of influence they've had on you so that maybe you're in the position you are in right now? Yeah, was when I was, since I was like a little boy, uh, my parents always demanded a lot on me, my mom and my dad. And uh, they always put that pressure on me. But the thing is, I put that pressure on myself too. So when you have both of those, if those two things together, it goes well. Lorenzo, how important was it to be an early enrollee at Notre Dame to prepare you for this season? That helped me so much. Uh, when I first came in, I was playing a little bit slower, a little timid. But I got the playbook down, I got everything down. So when I came into fall, fall camp, I was playing fast and ready to go. You kind of talked about it, but what was kind of like the biggest adjustment from going from a run heavy offense in high school to a college offense? Yeah, I, I did not know a lot about wide receiver coming in, so I feel like like enrolling early, that really helped me a lot. Uh, there was just a bunch of like technical things. Like I always had the athletic ability, but just all the technical, the fine details that I really had to work on when I first came in. And then not looking too far ahead to the future, but obviously there's a lot of freshmen coming or playing right now. I mean, what does that say about your freshman class? Uh, I feel like it says a lot. Uh, we have a bunch of talented guys, and I feel like the thing is, like everyone wants to work. Everyone wants to be the best. Everyone's, good. everyone's hungry. And I feel like that's all you could ask from the young guy, just being hungry, wanting more, and just wanting to get better every single day. How tough was the drop, and how important was it to get another opportunity, which you were able to make uh, a little bit later on, to kind of watch that one away? So during the game, I'll try to refocus, try to run back and get ready for the next play. But definitely in the film room, I've been thinking about that drop. And uh, yeah, you always want to be better, always want to do better. So yeah, I've been thinking about that and just working on not to let it happen again. How about in the moment and just trying to bounce back immediately? Like, just how, how hard is that to watch away? Uh, next play mindset. Uh, I knew my coaches believed in me and were going to give me another opportunity. I wanted the sideline, Coach Kelly said, you're going to get another opportunity. So I was like, knowing I had my coach behind me, made it real easy to do on the next play and then uh, make that catch that I did right after. How's your relationship with uh, Jack Brown from camp to time? Uh, so actually, when I came in, I was a young guy. I was texting Jack every day, like, hey, you want to throw? He's texting me every day, you want to throw? So since we came in, me, Tyler, and Jack, uh, we were throwing every single day. So just uh, watching him develop and then watching really all the quarterbacks develop, it's been it's been a fun experience. And then uh, really, uh, I appreciate those guys just because they really helped my growth so much. How about your relationship with Tyler? Obviously a classmate, um, just what, that, what that's like with him and seeing his opportunities, his growth, and maybe what you think uh, the future holds for him long term. So yeah, me and Tyler when we first came in, we're, like we we actually are still roommates. So uh, we live together. So when I didn't know something, hey Tyler, like what do I need to do on this? What it like? So we're both bouncing off each other, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm super excited for him. He he's a freak athlete, He'd be a quarterback. So I'm super excited for him to see where he's about to go. What's it kind of like for you being in college and kind of seeing your brother kind of follow your footsteps now, and how's he handling everything? Uh, I know he wants to. He's still taking all his best ones going on the path. Uh, of course, I want him to come here, be. Uh, be here with me, but uh, yeah, it's super exciting watching him really grow up and uh, get to have this fun experience. You still beat him one-on-one? -on -one? Of course, of course. <laughs>